Cosmos got airborne in the contagion. Roger that, Cos. If you take the north 020 radio, please, out of Colchi. 020 okay. from Colchi. There's not that many of us. I don't mind if you guys just want to hold somewhere else. We'll run into each other anyway, so. FJP's able. Flight fast good, dead wing good. Okay, so my hazel check sends. So I'm accelerating to 350. When I take 350, clear above, I'll now start my climb. Hazel check sends. The heights I'm going to use for the exercise today are 10,000 feet on 2988, which is min entry height for 7,000 min height to recovery for 5,000 for my to be recovered by or min abandonment height. Airframe, my gear is up, my flaps are out auto. Security, uh, air brakes are in. Uh, security, uh, harness is tight and locked, no loose articles around the cockpit, up to about 10 degrees, invert the aircraft, slight push, no loose articles, regain 350 knots for the climb. Flight path is good, dead wing is good. Uh, engine looks like it's behaving properly, I am left low, fuel is getting balanced, uh, let's have a look. So location, I will not be clear, I will be clear of active airfields, built up areas, controlled airspace and cloud and danger areas and look out I'll be doing the whole time. As I get to 8,000 feet I'm going to walk these throttles back to about 80%, 85% and maintain the attitude and the speed should come back to 300 knots which will allow me to level at 10,000 without wasting a whole world of fuel. So we're trying to arrive at the speed and height we need to be at and when I get to 10,000 I'll start a slight turn just to check the airspace beneath me and I'll do a wheel check. So my fuel is good, nicely balanced or balancing. Oxygen is good. Engine, what I expect. And my location then, I'm just north of the field personally, that's where I am. You guys will be somewhere else, but I'll make sure I'm keeping myself into an area of uh, decent weather. Trying to maintain 10,000, maintain 10,000, sorry. So bear, no offense mate, we're gonna conduct the exercise without you because you haven't had the brief already, but by all means come flying. Yeah, no problem. Okay, let me have a look then. Uh, I'm gonna go through the order here, guys. Just, just let me know whether you are at 10,000 feet at 300 knots. So, come on, Gramps. Yeah, I'm higher than that because I've got uh, a heavy jet. Yeah, no worries. Uh, GM, how you doing? Good. Okay, Johnny. Uh, eight three. Okay, let me know when you get 10,000 at 300 knots, Johnny, okay? Will do. Cosmo. Yep, I'm just sliding down. I'll be down about yep, sure. Moshi P, I know you've just joined the server, mate, so I'm assuming you're not... Are you flying or are you watching? No flying, thanks. Roger that, mate, no worries. And Peanut? 10,300. Thank you. Okay, guys, so let's uh, get yourself nice in a piece of airspace, but well, hopefully you're not stalling through cloud. There is a bit of cloud around today, more so than it was yesterday. It's the same bloody server. Right. So now from 10,000 feet, 300 knots, I want you to bring the throttles back to idle. Idle selected. And we're going to have a look at Sabir's, okay, on a full, fully developed stall. So I'm coming back now through 250 knots, I'm trying to maintain that height then. Good look out, left and right. Now you're starting to trim back now for 10,000, to maintain 10,000. So 240 knots, I'm coming back through. My flaps are in auto. No gear. Gear is up for this, please. Gear is up. We are a clean aeroplane. So this would be an indication of me now. I'd be like, oh, I'm down around about 220 knots. It's a bit weird. Why am I slow? Why is my speed slow and why is it reducing? My attitude then is increasing. So I'm coming through 200 knots and I'm having to trim back constantly. And then the F5, you get that little clicking noise. So I'm trimming back a lot to hold 10,000 feet. Now I'm starting to feel a bit of buffet on the jet now. I can feel it. If you've got a jet seat, you can feel it. And you can 160 knots, I'm definitely feeling something now. I'm trimming back loads and loads and loads. And I want you to hold it in this stall, guys. Hold it in. So the stick's coming right off. There's 145 knots. And now the jet is shaking itself to pieces. And I've got the stick coming back. I can feel instability. The jet is rocking left and right. Have a look at my stick. My stick is all over the place trying to hold this jet level. I've got a lot of left and right aerolon in there. And now what I'm going to do, if you are watching the stream or if you're not, uh, I want you to press F3 and have a look at what your jet looks like. 
massive high rate of descent. So your jet's going down, have a look at your, uh, you can use rudder to pick up that wing if you need to, and look at your VSI now. We've got about 6,000 foot per minute rate of descent, looking for 7,000 feet to recover. Approaching 7,000, I'll call out my standard still recovery. 7,000 feet now, simultaneously unload, full power, roll wings level, start easing out the dive, not reheat guys. If the jet does hit the buffet again, that's absolutely fine because you want the light buffet. Set five degrees nose up, hold it five degrees nose up, pause, positive rate of climb on, one and two. My VSI hour amp Tim, so both tell me they are climbing and I'm climbing now from five eight. So I lost 1,200 feet in that recovery. 1,200 feet is the, 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 uh, the height I lost. Now you can get your aircraft back onto level. You can put reheat in because you're below 10 alpha there as well on the uh, AOA gauge. And we'll accelerate back to 350 knots, back into the climb, re-establish on your radial, 7,000 feet, and we're gonna be at 300 knots again, looking at the incipient stall. Incipient is recovery at the first stages, so 10 seconds. What that means is we're gonna to look to recover at the buffet. It's gonna be around about 160 knots probably when we're clean here in the F5, even though we're using auto flap. I prefer the exercise being done with auto flap because for real, you would be in auto flap. Right, 300 knots then, I'm closing the throttle at 7,000 feet. I'm just gonna hold that level. And now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna notice probably slow and reducing airspeed. Maybe you might notice my attitude increasing, I might not. But as soon as I get that buffet, I'm gonna recover the aircraft using full power, military power, not reheat. And we're gonna note the height loss, guys. Note the height loss, and we're gonna recover from the recipient spin. The height loss is from when you start the aircraft climbing again. So remember the unload is just the stick going back to the central position, just so the nose drops a little bit. Full power, wings level, and then we're going to note that uh, the height loss. So trimming back then, about 220 knots then. So there's my uh, there's my Stoli Alpha Warner going. Below 200 knots now. That should be a big indication for me. I'm looking for the buffet. There's my buffet, sound and store recovery, unload, full power, rollings level, ease out of that dive very carefully. You don't want to restore the aircraft, very careful, very careful, back up five degrees. Let's get the jet climbing, I want a positive rate of climb on the VSI. Now, and my altimeter now, and I'm climbing again. So I lost 600 feet in that recovery from an incipient. Could probably make that better, could probably lose less if I went a bit earlier. So what that shows you is if you recover at the first stages of your stall, your height loss is significantly less than it would be than if you let the jet uh, get into a fully developed stall. Back up to 7,300 knots, guys, and we're going to stall in the final turn. Again, recovering at the incipient stage, which is the buffet. Okay, the buffet is the incipient stage. Height is going to be 7,000 for 5,000. I'm going to simulate flying a circuit from 7,000 feet. I will be configured with my gear and my flap. Good look out all around guys. My fuel is good as balanced. I know where I am. I'm 12 miles to the north of the field. Two more exercises, then we'll recover back into culture. I'm not too worried about how accurately you fly 7,300 guys, but what we're gonna do is we're going to set 80% now. So set 80% on both the throttles, use air brake, and get below 260 knots and put your gear down. Try and maintain height if you can, and it's not easy. This is obviously for F5, for Hornet, you're gonna be below 250 knots. For F14, no one cares. F16, I don't actually know to be honest, I can't remember. <laughs> How many aircraft am I supposed to hold in my head? All, right. All of them, because yeah. you are the boss. Thank you, the boss. I should have like another four screens and be flying all the jets at the same time, shouldn't I? Yeah, baffles me why you don't do that already. <laughs> Head will explode. Right, blow 260, my air brake is coming in, indicates in, gear travels. Okay, gear is traveling down. Three greens indicating, full flap indicating. And now as I get to 200 knots then, I'm gonna start from 80%, I'm gonna start a circuit to the left, so I'm gonna tip in to the left. You can go either way, doesn't matter. And note, when you tip in, it's only five degrees nose down, guys. Only five degrees nose down on your AI. I want you to note 
the visual attitude that's set. So I tip in now, about 45 degree turn, and the horizon is running through my hug glass. It's running through my hug glass. You will be descending, running through your hug glass. The speed does reduce a little bit, not too much. I've got about 190 knots on. Good look out around and below. Okay, good look out around and below. And then I'm gonna roll and simulate. I'm going through the center line. I'm gonna keep that horizon going through the hug glass, but I'm gonna roll almost like 80 degrees. I'm gonna pull, pull back on the stick as if I'm going through. There's the Buffett standard stall recovery. Full power unload, wings level, and start my climb away. So you're pulling into the Buffett, guys. Level with the horizon and then you're climbing away. Positive rate of climb one and two. So I've got a positive rate of climb now on two instruments. I can now bring my gear up because that is just drag. Gear travels. Gear's indicating up. My flaps are indicating back to also. And I'm climbing away. Anyone have any issues with that? They don't want to do it again. Everyone understand what we're doing there. We're simulating a finals turn where we get ourselves tight like we normally have big wins on this server, don't we guys? And we go through the center line, we stall the aircraft, and we get ourselves out. Because if you hold it in that deep stall, you will be going down at a rate of knots. The last exercise we're gonna look at is 7,300 again. We're gonna get ourselves in a 60 degree bank turn, bring the throttles back to idle, and we're gonna note what speed we stall at. Now, if we square off 2, 2G, which is 1.14, sorry, 1.41, sorry, Multiply that by our original stall speed, which we've all seen today is about 145 knots with auto flap. Then we should be stalling about 205 knots. So I'm going from 300 knots now, about 7,000 feet. I'll bring the throttles back to idle, guys. I'll establish myself in a 60 degree angular bank turn, level. So I'm nice and level. I'll look at my accelerometer on the right beneath the RWR. I'm in a level turn. And that's saying about, we'll say 2G when I square myself away. Hold on. There's 2G there. 2G there, 2G there. And then hopefully, there's that's the stall happening now at about 205 knots. That is called an accelerated stall. The aircraft is stalling. And now standard stall recovery. Get out of that. That's just one way you can have a look at accelerated stall. The next one, which a lot of you would have done already, is get yourself back to a nice speed, say 300 knots, use reheat. And then as if you're in air combat, put the jet on its side and as if you're chasing someone or you're on the brake and you can see the jet shaking away that's your that's your lift max your CL max if you pull even further then of course we do go into the heavier buffet and the aircraft nose will not come around the horizon in fact you'll have instability issues lots of cross controlling so we ease it off and we have the lightest of buffets that's CL max and that's how we use that in air combat so as long as the nose is moving around the horizon and you have the lightest of buffets and you can do this in the descending turn. We do max rate turns later on, max performance maneuvers, where we talk about air combat. But this is just uh, to get you to understand lift and stalling. I'm gonna recover back to Colts if I find out where I am. Okay, I'll dial up Colts here. Put the runway, put the course bar on my runway, which is zero 09. And um, we'll be looking at down to approach feet, uh, culture approach, FJP for a visual recovery. Negative information. Roger, FJP, information alpha, then uh, runway 09. The QFE 2988. Uh, cool visual to field. Changing the tower. Roger, FJP. So three miles out then, FJP initials. Break land. FJP, roger, the wind uh, 0606 knots, FJP. 4G brake guys, 4G brake. Blow 260, start getting the gear down. You don't need air brake on the brake. You need the Hornet or um, F5. Hold 200 knots downwind. Check you've got three greens down flap, or full flap, sorry. And don't get yourself tight like I did yesterday. Jim, visual. Hi, Jim, clear join. 
One in. Late downwind. Pig is visual. Roger, clear join. Two in. One downwind, one joining through initial. FTP, final get out. Jim initials. Completely trying to find the runway whilst we're in the final turn. Tracker R sucks. Uh, I don't know the, the pattern, so should I just join on a uh, 45? Uh, let's join runway 09, straight in, and then uh, as in you're pointing out the runway, and then just, just you, you mean you don't know how to break into the circuit? Is that what you're saying? No, but I'm a, I'm a civilian pilot, so I know the traffic pattern for civilians, but not, uh, not for jets. Okay, FTP, late final, get down. Uh, FTP, clear now. Yeah, just join as if you're joining in for runway 09, so you're pointing out the runway, as if you're, you can either do a straighten approach, which you'll be used to, or you can just fly a nice right hand circuit, follow one of the other aircraft in. I'll watch you now on tack view and I'll help you come in. I'm just landing my jet now, so. Yeah, just join in. Jim, never mind. Watch Jim. Peanuts finals, three green. Roger, Peanut, one, uh, two ahead. One short final, one uh, long final. Do you manage to get that down, man, bear, pig? It looks like, right? Barely. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that totally counts. f is not the easiest aircraft to get down. I thought you parked up next to me, Jim. Uh, rolled a bit long, so... Oh, you're <laughs> there. Taxing around oh, the yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Ramp slow on the left. Roger. You're going to park up there with your friends, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see you off to the side there. I'll put a little white picket fence up for you. Very soon, one of you will be on a straight approach and you'll be trimming back and the aircraft will go beep, beep, beep and start shaking. And you'll be like, do they recognize this? And you'll do a standard store recovery. And then you'll write to me and you go, hey, Tim, that really works. And I'll be like, I know, that's why we teach it.